What up, what up, what up? Well, my headlight is out. So I'm going to attempt to change it myself. And it reminded me of something. So here we go. So here's a big question. How can people like us, people who struggle with health or weight loss, people who maybe have some self-esteem or self-confidence challenges, or people who just want to improve their lives but can't quite put their finger on where to start or what they need to do next? How do we make changes in a way that improves our situation but doesn't seem impossible or overwhelming to do so we can start to live better lives? That's the big question, and on this podcast, we're going to dig into some answers. My name is Rylan Jones, a.k.a. The Fat Assassin, and this is the Healthy Mind, Healthy Body, Better Life Podcast. So, what up, y'all? Hope y'all having a good day. It's your boy, Rylan Jones, a.k.a. The Fat Assassin making an attempt to do something mechanical this morning it's actually actually it's afternoon but uh no i can do a little bit of mechanical stuff my uh, headlight is out in the truck but it's been too cold to come out here and try to fix it so i've just been riding around with one headlight for like a week and luckily i have not been pulled over yet so let's change before that happens but anywho well, a lot of y'all don't know, when I was in the Air Force, I did a lot of mechanical stuff. But you know what else we have in the Air Force? Tech manuals. So you never have to guess, you don't have to wonder, right? And there's usually someone more experienced than you that you do it with first before you uh, attempt whatever it is you're about to do. So fast forward to civilian life and cars. I don't really know a lot about cars. If something starts going wrong in a car, I couldn't tell you what the problem is. I mean, there's a handful of things, but big picture, not really. I know how to do a few things, but there's like, you know, no tech manual. I mean, there is a tech manual, but some videos exist. Anyway, so some stuff I can fuddle through. Some stuff I leave to the experts. That's why they get paid for that. And some stuff, I call my dad. Why? Because he was a mechanic, still is a mechanic, has been for like, I don't know, 40 years or something. But changing this this light bulb in this headlight reminded me of the gym. Because we've changed one of the lights in this bolt in this light assembly recently. And I couldn't I've never done it. He used to have a, a truck similar to mine. So you have to pull out the whole freaking headlight assembly to change the bulbs in this thing so it's actually a pain and i wasn't really looking forward to it now that being said i remember we had a problem actually getting this headlight assembly out of this thing so i probably going to have the same problem today because i don't remember exactly what my dad did to get it out Because really, he was the one doing it. I was just watching. And I was watching, and I wasn't really paying 100% attention. I was like, oh, it's just a headlight assembly. I can get it out myself if I ever have to in the future. That may or may not be true. Because right now, I can't get it out. I remember him. Something was prying or something. Anyway. So this, this, how did this remind me of the gym? This remind me of the gym because I watch people watch people in the gym. Hope that makes sense. Like, and this is, I think, one of the biggest reasons people do stuff wrong in the gym is because you watch other people in the gym do whatever exercise it is. Now, if you're a beginner, I get it. You're trying to see what other people are doing to try to see if you can do it too or maybe to see if you're doing what you're doing wrong or right or if you're not a beginner you're just looking to try to get some new stuff to do but if you don't really know what you're looking for and then you try to do the same movements you're going to do them wrong period kind of like i can't get this freaking headlight out 
of this thing right now. Uh oh, oh! I might got it. I might have gotten it. Uh, nope, still didn't get it. <laughs> um, but yeah, like I, you, there's certain things that if you don't have the right trained eye, you don't see the little details. The biggest one is squats. I see it in squats. I see lunges, bench press. I see it in push-ups. Um, I see it in sit-ups, planks. Uh, crunches, leg raises, like these are all, well not squats, squats, deadlifts, and lunges aren't easy to do. Um, they're actually more advanced techniques that you should work your way up to, especially if you don't have a trainer or somebody who actually knows to look for helping you. If you watch someone else do it, you don't know what you're looking for, you're going to end up doing it wrong and hurting yourself because they're just minor details that you just, some of which you can't even see because a person's clothing is too baggy. So you don't really see what they're doing as far as their core is concerned. You just see them, let's say for squat for instance, you just see them, you know, squatting up and down. You're like, oh, that's easy, I can do that. What you don't see is how tight their core is when they're doing it, if they're doing it correctly to begin with. Where are their knees at? Do their knees float beyond their toes? Is their butt not back far enough? Is, there, is the bar too high or too low in their traps? Like. There's a whole bunch of subtle things that you have to look for. Deadlifts is probably the most incorrectly done exercise in the gym behind bench press. And the sad thing about that is I see a bunch of little guys trying to lift all this weight on deadlift. Their technique is horrible. All you're going to do is hurt yourself. And whenever I see somebody doing it, I ask if they want my opinion. If they say no, they say no. There's nothing I can do about it after that point. But... If you're trying to get into deadlifting, don't worry about the weight. Worry about getting your technique right because the weight will come with it. But if you keep trying to go up on weight and your technique is wrong, you will end up hurt eventually. It, it may not be a sudden thing. It may be five years from now. But anyway, the moral of the story is find an actual professional who can show you how to do things correctly and don't just go off of looking at people in the gym. Because if you don't know what you're looking for, you can't even copy it anyway. So the other day I worked out with a trainer friend of mine and uh, we were shooting some video and she showed me a new way to do a dumbbell row that I've never done before. So in the video, I actually used her. I'm not gonna use me, I look awkward and weird trying to do it because I've never done it before. It's literally the first time and if I do it, I know I'm still working on getting it right. And she's giving me tips during my own set. So if I show myself doing it, I'm already showing people the wrong way. So I use her. She does it all the time. There's nothing wrong with letting her do the exercise, me videotaping her, and then talking through the exercise. So that at least people can do it right or make an attempt to do it right. Like, you won't have the same problem I'm having, like getting this headlight out. <clears throat> I'm going to try not to even take it all the way out. I think I can get to it. But um, anyway, struggling with this headlight just reminded me of that. So if you're in the gym and you want to do some new exercises or you're new to the gym and you just want to know how to do it to begin with, don't watch other people in the gym unless you know that person knows what they're doing. And the only way to know that it's to talk to them, really, because some people look like they know what they're doing and they don't have a clue. These are the same people who've been going to the gym for six months, a year, two years, and they look exactly the same. They haven't lost weight. They haven't gained weight. They don't look more muscular. Not, nothing. So, anywho, that's today's lesson. Um... I'm still struggling to get this headlight out. Now at this point, I just want to get it out far enough to get to the bulb and put this thing back in. So that's that. I got to go get the light bulb, then we'll change it. And then, uh, I guess that's it. I'm hungry. I need some lunch. All right. So don't watch people at the gym unless you know they know what they're doing. And that's it for today. I'm getting back to this headlight. Uh, if you want to download my free PDF 
for the three huge diet mistakes most people make and don't even know they're making them um, you can go to three huge diet mistakes dot com front slash download backslash down one of the slashes download so three huge diet mistakes dot com front slash download uh, and check that out feel free to uh, leave a review for the podcast uh, five star preferably <laughs> if you uh, like what you've been hearing and uh, share it with somebody you think might uh, appreciate it all right I'm Roland Jones aka the fat assassin we can make excuses or we can make progress choice is ours I'm gonna go fight this headlight now all right <laughs> see you guys later if you want to follow me on social media I'm on Instagram at Rylan Jones snapchat handle Rylan Jones also on Facebook at facebook.com backslash Rylan Jones you can also catch me on my YouTube channel at youtube.com backslash Rylan Jones